Laughing Panda. Is the room is it a pocket dimension or something? I know what it is, it's just like what what is it is it, you know? You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. It looks beautiful. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Hmm. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Uh, you've unlocked a desk of description. Yeah, whatever she said. Yeah, let's have a look at things that I couldn't see before. And not all of them are any good. Fuck. Useless. I'll talk to you. Fine. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Mm-hmm. Okay then. New spell. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. My conjuring cups. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also mm -hmm. be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. What? Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. So I can vanish something, claim it, and then respawn it and claim it again. That's what she said. Right? So... Oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll summon a bit of this. Oh, it costs. Okay, so it's probably just going to give us them back. Okay. Put this over here. No. Wait, just put it somewhere I can. Jesus. Right, that'll be fine. Pot you can use them. these whenever you need to brew potions um, or grow plants. This thing Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds I've or got potion one. ingredients you need in Hoxmead or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Thank you, Professor. I'd like to know more about Deke. Can I use Transfigurations magic? Anyone. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. Oh. With charms in place to enforce that, it would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the mm. room of requirement has its own rules. All right, then. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit she was a Gryffindor like or a Hufflepuff, I think. For use in the room. Maybe, actually, I don't know. It could be fucking any. Uh, potions. I would like to make some of them. 
Wigan Wells. Am I only able to make one? No way. Uh, Dittany, Mallow, Sweet Mandrake. Da, da, da. I've only got Dittany. And then that's not really. Do another one. No, I can't. Okay. So I need more of that. Um, are we done? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okie doke. Um, return to Professor Weasley. I'm guessing I have enough. No, you're going to take nine minutes. I thought you were nine seconds. Some stupid reason. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? The walls? Okay. This one. Good work. Shall we move and on? This one. One more. Started. I think that's it, isn't it? Smash it. everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Ooh. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. See, he's not, he's not doing how many the hand action. Have here. So, like, how important is it, the actual cast? You have to do it every time, like... What about, oh, like, Just um, aim your wand at you. any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customise it. Oh. So, if I do this and then this, it's... Yes, that's Nicely the one. Done. Now, we're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Oh my. Ooh, I like that, but it is cold. See, this is the nicest because it's actually warm. I like that one because it's it's cold, but it's alive. I'm going to go with this one. It's slithering. From a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Yes. Would you mind? Of course, Ooh. Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. I like the flowers. Can we talk to Deke when you're ready. I will when I'm ready. I am <laughs> enjoying the creativity. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed. I think that's it. Thank you, Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? A cool moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I'd like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. No, a moon lit in like ambience. To feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Thank you, little man. Yes, it's not evil. It's cold. I was going for cold. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Pretty. Is there a second tier to this room, is there?
an even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. So does every student have their own room? That's actually kind of freaking cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, give me it. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Yeah, and keeps interact. And now I can uh, do multiple ones. No. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Yeah, yeah, Deke. Ooh, this way. It's talented to customize it, I think. Right. And I don't have any of them, so that's all good. So, we're back to the game. Well, that was a long detour. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, hey, Mr. Swallow. Over here. What's up? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors Go know about the room this of requirement. place. No. This way. If we're sneaking about again. Just here. It's well disguised. Oh, hello. This is new. I've not seen it before. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Rebellion. I can't tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I will not break that promise. I know Ominous. Met him in our car. I like Ominous. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Mm -hmm. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again. Mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Ooh. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. That's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But mm. you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. 
We'd love to. Let's do this! It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. It's a Z for Zorro. You're getting it. Ready to act. Where is it? Ah, this one. Yes. Couldn't bring to the target, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. Confringo! That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. It's really hard to hear without actually. Right, they're all lit. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo. We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Um, it's almost too the much. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. It's on the captain. I've been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. Oh. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. It might be. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Um... I... I... I don't trust him. Like, I think he's going to turn out to be a bad person, but you, you need to keep these people close. And he did say, if I'm going to help you, you have to be honest with us. And I've respected him up to that after that, so, like, I will tell him. You must him. promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. Unless he's I can see shown me this to get magic. me more info. Ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Yeah, if I well, press L1 and R1. When you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Hmm. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you... Have you missed? I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Wait, can I customize this place too? When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I'll be two seconds. I'm just going to check this. Nah, I can't in here. I love doing that little. Laughing Panda.